What's up, Cancers, and welcome in. This is going to be your mid-June general reading. Cancers, I've already pulled you guys a spirit message um, to start your reading, and your card that came out is Attracting, Not Chasing. All right, so this is a um, very clear energy. It's just talking about being in the energy of wanting something but not chasing it. Okay, so I don't know if you guys are dealing with something or someone where it's like a little cat and mouse kind of um, energy, but I feel like whatever it is, you guys may need to fall back a little bit, okay, and not be like so, so overly focused on it so you don't cause it to be delayed, okay? I see like two turtles here, so something has been moving slow or someone is moving slow. This um, says anything or anyone that you chase after will run the other way because of the fears underlying chasing energy. Instead, attract what you need by sending out love, gratitude, and welcoming energy. All right, so I see like a unicorn, um, a lion here. Some of you guys may be dealing with the Leo. I see a boat. And it got like two people in it with, you know, candlelight. So I feel like for some of you guys, maybe you're in a relationship or you're um, wanting something. And I feel like it's something that you truly have a strong desire for. But I feel like whatever this is, you could be like wanting it so much that it's kind of like being pushed back. For some of you guys, this is a person or this is um, you like wanting love or something like that. But I feel like whatever this is, y'all feel the vibes okay y'all already know what i'm saying like yeah for some of y'all this is a person we have true love here i feel like you just need to fall back a little bit let it come to you because it is coming in okay yes look at this let it come to you just what i was saying it is coming in we have commitment and then we have increase so for a lot of you guys this isn't even just in regards to relationship this is in regards to like finances as well some of you guys have been like really really trying to chase after money and chase after like commitment um or another level of commitment from a person but you don't have to because this energy is coming in you just need to be open to it all right so this looks good y'all have the increase card which i love when this card pops out um in a reading period because this is just an increase you know a lot of prosperity a lot of abundance so you guys are definitely going to see a lot more um i feel finances resources that are going to be just coming in and then with this commitment card i also feel like that person you know that you want so damn bad you may want them to commit to you on a certain level i feel like it's about to come in all right and then look at this strength card remember i was saying i was seeing that lion so yeah some of y'all are definitely dealing with the leo or your person could have that in the chart and i also feel it's just like a strong desire um to be with someone and to have like i feel like there's like this idea and you're about to finally have this opportunity because I feel like maybe you have, you know, fell back. All right, so let's see. Taurus energy here as well. I'm seeing contracts. So some of you guys are going to be signing like a contract. Um, this could be like for um, property. Some of you guys may be like looking to buy a home. Some of you guys, this is just serious commitment. Could be marriage. Ooh, we have justice strength and judgment and then the king of pentacles and what's on the who this two of cups i knew it so yeah that's exactly what this is about i feel like it's something that you guys really really want for some of you guys this was like serious commitment maybe even marriage from someone okay you could be dealing with the cancer scorpio pisces we also have libra leo and capricorn Taurus, virgo energy all right but regardless of the sign here i feel like there is like a relationship or someone or something that you like have a strong desire for okay like you are very um invested in this i feel like you're emotionally invested i feel like you're also you know be trying to be patient because it's something that you really want but i feel like it's because with this justice here you guys learned you know this lesson like whatever this was i feel like you were all in in the past and it could have went or didn't go the right way but now you guys are like in this more patient energy and it finally comes in together because judgment is here so if someone is finally surrendering to this relationship i feel like someone is finally ready to commit and with this king of pentacles here i feel like again this is definitely surrounding like serious commitment marriage or you know just settling down maybe moving together or just being exclusive so this looks really good cancers let's look at this energy 
All right, let's see what this energy is, but that's kind of what I'm seeing. I feel like somebody is finally ready to commit. The tower here, some of you guys could be dealing with in um, Aries or Scorpio for sure, but I feel like there was a tower moment, so something changed, and I feel like that was you. You changed in a situation. You fell back, and I feel like it kind of like shocked somebody. I feel like you guys were in a connection or there's a connection with someone where, you know, there is a mutual connection, but you were kind of given a little bit more. You could have wanted it a little bit more than this person wanted it at the time. And then y'all fell back and it changed some things. All right. So let's look at this strength energy or it's going to change. Yeah. Judgment is here. Y'all have judgment here twice. So this is like um, a clean slate. This is also um, could be like a resurrection in a relationship. But the way that I'm feeling is that you guys kind of fell back and it kind of put you in your power. I feel like once you fell back, somebody had a realization. Somebody had a wake up call. They were like, oh, shit, like I'm, I'm about to miss out on this person. Or, you know, they kind of just changed up the way they were moving. Six of Pentacles here. And then look this uh ten of swords so yeah somebody changed the way they were moving because i feel like with this six of pentacles you could have been dealing with someone that was given to you and given to someone else or someone that just wasn't invested as much as you were and i feel like again when y'all you know kind of fell back or as you're pulling back your energy because some of you guys this is the energy that you're in now you're needing to pull back your energy and with this judgment here it's like it's going to bring a change you guys are having like this wake up call all right, so clarify judgment for cancers. There's way too many cards. <clears throat> we got the nine of wands, the two of cups, and the four of swords. So, but that's what I'm saying. It's still the same thing. Like you guys have been, this has been causing you a lot of stress. It's been like placing a lot of <clears throat> worry on you on you because a lot of y'all are like staying up late at night or you just have been overly thinking about this. Like obsessively thinking about the situation replaying something over and over in your head like why is this person not doing this why is this person not reaching out some of you guys were beginning to feel like rejected and then you're like hold up i gotta get my shit together like wait a minute this person got me tripping or i'm tripping and i feel like as soon as y'all did that and fell back like things are going to change look the lovers is here this is like four cards but it's the same four cards that we just seen you guys falling back and you know pulling back your energy from this person i feel like with this nine of swords, four of swords, and the magician, this person is going to start, like, investing more. They're going to come around and they're going to be, like, they're going to have a new tune. Okay? They're going to be singing a whole different damn song. It's the way I'm feeling. So, the eight of swords is here yet in the world. Some of you guys could have given someone an ultimatum. But with the eight of swords here, I feel like this person is coming in. <clears throat> strong Aries energy here, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, and Scorpio. But with this world and the Queen of Pentacles and this full energy, I feel like someone is coming in. They want to like start brand new. They want to start over. They don't want to go into this like this next cycle without you. And I feel like it's because you guys are going into, like I said, this cycle of increase. Your life is about to change and get better. So this person wants to make sure like they're a part of that. All right, so let's see. Let's look at your past energy. What happened in the past? <clears throat> the sun is here in reverse. So I feel like in the past, you guys could have went through a really rough time with this person. Just like I was saying, y'all were giving way more. It was like you, you were giving so much because you were so into this person and you thought it was going to like bring out the best in the relationship. But I feel like as a result, it like fucked things up because the sun in reverse is like depression, sadness. Things just going south, I feel. Not having clarity. Could be deception. And I feel like the magician here in Justice, you guys had to learn like that lesson. Because Justice is here twice. Y'all had to learn that lesson. And once you learned that lesson, I feel like you guys kind of turned things around. Some of you guys were really depressed in the past. King of Cups. Yeah, look, King of Cups and the Seven of Swords. You guys could have been dealing with lies. You could have been dealing with someone that was sneaky, manipulative. They could have took advantage of your feelings or took advantage of like your emotions. And I feel like that shit really stressed you out. And y'all had a wake-up call. Y'all were like, wait a minute. Let me get my shit together. And I feel like that's where you guys are now. Like, you are getting your shit together. Or you got your shit together. All right. So, let's look at this um, Two of Cups. Temperance. 
Yeah, this is this person. Some of you guys could be um I was gonna say dealing with the Sagittarius, but I'm also hearing like behind the scenes. So I feel like behind the scenes, y'all, this person is trying to figure out a way, even if they haven't come towards you. For a lot of you guys, when you, like at the time that you're listening to this, things may not have been, things may not have changed yet or shifted yet because I see this Eight of Swords is in this current energy. But you guys are going to hear from this person. They're trying to, like, they're working behind the scenes, trying to figure out a way to, like, come towards you and communicate with you so they can heal this relationship with this Ace of Cups. For some of you guys, this person is very prideful. I feel like you guys are a lot more grounded than this person. Could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but the Two of Cups is here twice. I feel like you guys do both have like a lot of love. This is a lot of mutual love understanding. So I feel like things are going to be healed between you guys. Like there is a lot of love, a lot of healing. Patience. Like you guys are um, a very, very beautiful match you know it just it's just about like patience you guys having patience with with each other and working through like your differences for some of you guys someone had like a friend and their friend was causing like issues between you and this person that was something that was going on behind the scenes that you didn't know about but this person is definitely in the place where they're ready to invest. They're ready to go into something long-term. They're ready to build with you, you know? And I feel like, Cancers, a lot of you guys, this is also, you're having a lot of, um, again, increase with your work and your finances, your career. A lot of you guys are about to get a lot more opportunities that are going to be rolling in. And again, it's like when you got out of that energy of being depressed, strength is here. So this is definitely um, a lot of patience. You guys have been doing a lot of hard work. The Four of Cups. Yeah, a lot of you guys have to do some work in regards to like fear of rejection or just having fear in general. Wow, so that's what it was. You guys were definitely dealing with that and you guys had to go through this situation. It was like it kind of restored your faith. I pulled you guys a message before I started from, I had like this little scripture deck and your card that came out, Cancers, was don't be afraid, just have faith. And that comes from Mark chapter five, verse 36. So I feel like that was what you guys had to learn, like some lessons in regards to your faith. So y'all went through a situation where it could have um, required you to have like nothing but faith to kind of pull you out. And it could have dealt with this situation where whoever you guys were dealing with, they were making you guys feel rejected. And a lot of you guys have, um, you've learned your lesson in regards to that. All right, let's see. Why is the judgment card here? Clarify judgment for um, cancers, your future energy, what's coming in. So we have the hair font and then the two of wands. So in your um, near future cancers, you guys are going to have to make a decision because this person is going to come come towards you guys with some sort of um, offer. Okay, some of you guys are dealing with a Taurus, but I feel like this could be in regards to serious commitment, marriage. Yeah, look, the page of cups. Wow, some of y'all, it's going to be a proposal in the near future. Knight of cups and then the ten of pentacles. There's a proposal or the forward movement. Like some of you guys have already had a proposal or something like that. Wow, but y'all are about to get some clarity. This person is going to come towards you. There's going to be some communication. Y'all have the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands. Oh, wow. Phew. So this is very beautiful because I feel like this reader, I don't know why I feel heavy. I don't know why this felt so heavy, but I felt like this is like heavy energy just because it's a very strong connection. Yeah, I see surrender and then I was seeing love partnership. So let's see. What's the energy here? Happy ending. Wow. Look at that. Y'all have this happy ending card that came out. I can't even pick it up. So it is going to be like a happy ending. Like I said, you guys with this two of cups temperance and two of cups, it's like a transformation. 
there is a transformation that's happening. And for some of you guys, one of you guys have manifested this or you guys have both manifested this. And then look what's on the back of the deck, new beginnings. So there is going to be like a happy ending to, you know, this, this love story. I just feel like there was um, a lesson cancers that you guys have just come out of learning. So for a lot of you guys, this is you having this rebirth and this transformation. So let's see what the energy is regarding what you need to surrender. Pull y'all apart from the surrender deck. And I would not be surprised, Cancers, if fear came out. Ooh, surrender to divine timing. Okay. Spirit, shut me up. Divine timing is at play. And I definitely see that with this temperance. So this says, sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough, according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow. And that's what you guys have learned. All right, so let's see. I want to see what your spirit message is, Cancers. What's the spirit message for Cancer? At this reading, what is the spiritual advice or spiritual message for Cancers at this time? Oh, okay. Wow, y'all have miracles on the bottom of the deck. And then we have this war and peace card. All right, so y'all definitely have a miracle coming in. I'm going to have to read that. I think that came out in Virgo's reading too. All right, so what is the war and peace message? This says, there is a clash between your logical mind and a heartfelt yearning at present. Your heart is pulling you in one direction while your mind pulls you in another. This is creating an inner war, which is responsible for the stress that you are feeling. The way to overcome your current dilemma is by embracing both your heart and your mind. Trust what your heart is saying, yet apply logic and common sense also. Inner peace is only possible by embracing both sides of your nature. Acknowledge any fear you may have, but do not allow it to stand in your way. Only by doing what feels right in your heart will you move closer to fulfilling your dreams. Yet, you also need to be rational about your decisions. For both heartfelt inspiration and practical logic are necessary in order to achieve a harmonious and successful outcome. And that's what I, I feel. So, this is very beautiful because, like I said, you guys are definitely, you have some sort of blessing that's coming in. And let me get y'all the miracle uh, message because that's like one of my favorite cards out of this deck all right so this says your determination commitment and perseverance is about to pay off and all you have worked towards will soon manifest it will be soon time to celebrate your achievements however you are cautioned to celebrate or you are cautioned not to get too elated thank the universe for all you achieve and keep focus do not lose sight of your original purpose and your intentions keep in mind that all you do should not only serve you but also those around you in doing this, the universe will continue to guide you and offer its assistance. Visualize your work and influence reaching a larger number of people. And imagine this happening with ease and only in ways that make you feel comfortable. It takes no more effort to think big than to think small. And remember that a miracle is always possible no matter what situation you find yourself in. So that is so crazy, y'all, because I feel like just like I was saying in the beginning when I looked at this energy, you guys are having like an increase in your abundance and in your career and in your flow. And then it's also like this commitment. Like you also have this situation with love. So your reading makes like perfect sense to me. I don't know if this is um, your story, but if it resonated, Cancers, drop me a comment. All right, y'all know I'm sending y'all all the love and light. And until next time, bye guys.